Hello everyone, welcome to our Songs Course series. Uh, my name is Godwin and today we'll be looking at a song, one of my favorites from Asha, it's titled Be My Man. And I have a couple of friends here that will be jamming with me. I have Isonil, I have Biola on the sticks. Bad guy, we'll be playing this thing, yeah, the Cajon actually. And then we'll be, you know, vibing to this song. And then I'll also give you guys the breakdown of what I'm doing on the guitar. And then um, first of all, I want you to watch the performance and yeah, watch and, you know, enjoy. Give me enough. What's going on? Okay, um, let's give me So let's look at the breakdown. So I actually was playing on the key of G on the performance, but the original song was on the key of F sharp, okay? And so how we're going to achieve this is we're going to, you know, obviously put our capo, can you see, on the second fret. So that's my second fret. So yeah. So yeah, capo on the second fret, and then these are the chords you're going to play. So before we go into the chords you play, um, I've divided this part into three parts. We have part A. Uh, B and C. So guys, so part A was used in the intro, it was used in the, I think, the verse and also the solo. There was a solo part where there was an instrumentally soloing. Okay, and then we have part B which was used in the chorus and lastly the part C. The... Yeah, that sound, that side. And then um, it did not really stay so long in the song, so part C. So those are the three parts you need to learn them. We can now start inputting them in the different areas as the song you know, changes, okay? So now let's start with um, part A. Okay, so when I start part A, I start with this chord. Uh, this is my C sharp minor, the six of the key. So I'm calling C sharp minor because I'm using an E major open concept, okay? But originally this would be a D sharp minor. Does that make sense? Okay, so but this is a C sharp minor because of my key I'm just assuming that this is on key E. So and from there I went to an F sharp minor. Yeah, if you're thinking about it on key E, F sharp, it will be on G sharp minor. Okay, so, so we have C sharp minor, so your F sharp minor. See back to your C sharp minor, but this time around you're going to go back uh, to an A dominant seven. So originally it's a B dominant seven, but because we're seeing it on the key of E. It's an A dominant seven, okay? Okay, so, so that part. That part, yeah. Now this la next part, you have... Um, 
some planes sus suspended because they are playing an A sus, sus 2, a B sus 4, and a C sharp minor 7. The idea is just playing this power chord here. So these two notes are just pedal notes, yes? But you're going to work out the theoretical name for every note together. So this is an A suspended 2, uh, this is a B suspended 4, and this is a C sharp minor 7. Okay? So that makes sense, yeah. So yeah, part A again, we have... That is on the screen. Then you go. And that's for part A. Okay? Very easy. So let's talk about the part B. You know, part B is the, I'll call it the happy direction. You know, it's almost like you've created tensions with those minor chords and then you're just giving everybody a sign of relief. I really enjoy when it's, you know, move from minor to major. You know, it's just this happy feel, you know. Okay, but anyway, so, so the chords I played, I played was uh, E, and E had nine. The chat's on the screen. You can play an E major. Yeah, but I played. It sounds more colorful. Then I played an F sharp minor seven. I heard this funnily. Every time I play this chord, it's, it's I don't know if everyone can play it because I'm using a thumb chord here. But you can play an F sharp minor straight. So. Then you go back to that session in your. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. You can do your F sharp minor 7. Your F sharp minor, rather. Then go to that. This A sus 2, B sus 4, and C sharp minor 7. I'll see them as a pedal tone. Just play an A5, a B5, and a C sharp 5. That's for the chorus. So it's this. This chord, if you can play it, you can learn it. So this is it. You can see the chart on the screen. And that's for part B. Okay? And I'm going to talk about the strum sequence because the strum sequence is. is um, it's, it's not really tricky, so it's and it's kind of the same applied all through, okay? So now let's talk about part C. We have part C. So this part C, um, so I'll give you the theoretical breakdown of these chords, but but the other simple ways to look at this chord, this movement, or the way I see it is keeping your root and your third, that's your, in so far as I'll say my do, mi, do, mi, and then I'm trying to walk the bass, la, over that do, mi, la, do, mi, Z do me, it's just a chromatic line. La Z so fi, la Z so fi. Okay, so I have la do me. This do me is like the pedal tone for me. Z do me, that's it. That's an augmented chord. You have a so do me, that's a major chord, and a fi do me it feels like a minor seven flat five. Yeah. Okay, so. Minus on flat five, or you can see it as an half diminished. So the minor, arc, major, minus on flat five, or your half diminished. Right, yeah. Those names are tricky though. You can do it here on the higher octave, yeah. Yeah. So this is my do mi, la, do mi, zi, do mi, so do mi. But if I was to analyze that, that's a minor. Augmented, a major, and a minor seven flat five, or oh, an half diminished chord. Okay, so, but if you want to see it in a very simple way, just keep this do me and just go a la over a la bass. So you have la, zoom, yeah. Then you go back to your this idea. There's always this, you know, come back to this section. Okay, 
so which is your ASOS 3, your ASOS 4 back to your C sharp minus 7. Or, or you see it as an A5, B5 to your C sharp 5, but with a pedal tone. Okay? And um, I think that's everything your A section, your B section, and your, your C section. This, this, the idea about this song is tension and releases. Like, you could hear tension, then release. You know, and it's so beautiful. When you hear jazz sounding music, you know, they create tensions and then release. It's almost like, you know, putting you at, you, creating a certain bit of discomfort and then easing you off. You know, there's just something that does in music though. So anyways, moving forward, we're talking about the chord strumming sequence. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> This part, eh, sometimes I do all of these things, you know, I don't think about them, so I have to think about them now. So, um, strumming is more like drumming, that's why they call it strumming. So, you're just drumming on the string. So, this, the. That. Down, 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 down. Get. See, down, 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 up, down, down. Like, that's literally the sequence, the rhythm. You see, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, you know, down, down, down. And that's just... You know, and that's the sequence. So what you can do is practice the strum sequence. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. So sometimes when I want to do the first down, I can do a up, down, a quick up, down. You know, just to hard spice to you know connect it. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Slowly down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. More slowly. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Or you can start down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Okay? And that's that's everything you need to know about this. So guys, let me run through everything with the now this time around with the strum sequence, okay? So I have uh, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 again, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, go down, 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 down. So that part is something. Remember I said I do this thing subconsciously, I can do? I do that sometimes. So I do down, down, down. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. You know, I use that, that sometimes, but... You know, that will always work, you know. That's just me going off, you know. And adding some spice, you know how we roll now. When it's moving forward though, then you go to the um the chorus. You see I heard I just did it. Then mm -hmm. Then back. You can do yeah. The back to of course. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, you know, and hit that bell sign there. And don't forget to like and comment. Share this video to your friends and um, loved ones. And at the end of the day, you know, music is about enjoying yourself.
<laughs> you know, you have to enjoy this music at the end of the day too. So it's not just practice. Sometimes try and jam with friends. I advise that you know has more wholesomeness to playing music itself. Okay, so find your friends around, jam with them, and um, and just keep growing literally. Anyway, so see you in the next lesson. Uh, if you want me to cover any song or probably to give you a breakdown of any song, you know, make sure you drop down in the comment section. I'll be reading your comments and um, see you in the next lesson. Thanks.